Hi. My name is Nicola Cavendish, and I am directing the Laramie Project at uh, UBC's Freddie Wood Theatre with the um, third year BFA students, maybe the third or second, I always get that confused. I saw this play in 1999 or 2000, perhaps it was even 2002. Yes, it was. It was about five years ago at Lord Bing High School in Vancouver. And uh, it was being carried by 15, 16, and 17-year-olds. And I remember being absolutely riveted to the story and amazed at the power of something as simple as what they were doing on stage, which was conveying some very powerful words around a, a horrifying subject. I have many friends who are both gay and lesbian. And the play struck a chord in me in terms of any one person from any class, any group, any color, any religion, any different orientation sexually. And I thought everybody in the world should see this play. And it stuck with me. And then this opportunity came up for me to come back to my old stomping grounds where I was a student and got a great education and a great grounding in theater to work with the young actors here. And I thought, hmm, the Laramie Project. Good play, good project, many challenges. Uh, one of the perpetrators, one of the ultimate murderers of Matthew Shepard and the homicide detective, uh, Debris, uh, they're the actual words taken from the actual tapes. And um, it strikes me as one of the most powerful scenes in the play. My name is Roberta Debris, Sergeant for the Sheriff's Office. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and may be used against you in a court of law. Okay. So you guys, you and Russ go to the fireside. So you're at the fireside by yourselves, right? Yep. Okay. Where do you go after you leave the fireside? Some kid wanted to ride home. What's he look like? Like a queer. <laughs> Such a queer, dude. He looks like a queer. Yeah, like a fag, you know? Okay. How'd you meet him? He wanted to ride home, and I thought, well, dude's drunk. Let's just take him home. When did you and Russ talk about jacking him up? We kind of talked about it at the bar. Okay, what happened next? We drove him out past Walmart. We get out there, <clears throat> and he starts grabbing my leg, grabbing my genitals. And I'm like, look, I'm not a fucking faggot, all right? And if you touch me again, you're gonna fucking get it. I don't know what the hell he was trying to do, but I beat him up pretty bad. <laughs> I think I killed him. What did you beat him with? Blacked out. My fists, the pistol, yeah, the butt of the gun. What's the first thing that he said or that he did in the truck that made you hit him? Well, he put his hand on my leg and slid it as if he was going to grab my balls. Did he ever try to defend himself against you or hit you back? Yeah, he tried his little swings or whatever, but it wasn't very effective. How many times did you hit him in the truck before you guys stopped where you left him? I'd say I hit him two or three times. Yeah, probably three times with my fists. About six times with the pistol. Did he ask you to stop? Well, yeah. He was getting the shit kicked out of him. What did he say? After he asked me to stop, most all he was doing was screaming. So Russ kind of dragged him over to the fence, I'm assuming, and tied him up. Yeah, something like that. I just remember, Russ was laughing at first, but then he got pretty scared. Was Matthew conscious when Russ tied him up? Yeah. Uh, I remember I told him to turn around and don't look at my license plate number because 
I was scared he was going to tell the police. And then I asked him what it said. And he read it. That's why I hit him a couple more times. Just to be sure. Yeah. So obviously you don't like gay people. No, I don't. Would you say you hate them? I don't really hate them, but when they start coming on to me and shit like that, I get pretty fucking aggravated. Did he threaten you? This is gay dude? Yeah. Not really. Can you answer me one thing? What's that? Why'd you take his shoes? I don't know. Now I'm never gonna get to see my son again. I don't know. You'll probably go to court sometime today. Today? So what, I'm just gonna walk in there and plead guilty or not guilty today? No, no, you're just gonna be arraigned today. He's gonna die for sure? There is no doubt that Mr. Shepard is going to die. So, what are they gonna give me? 25 to life or just death penalty and get it over with? That's not our job. That's the judge's job and the jury. <laughs>